So you want to create a dynamic, interesting character that captivates everyone at the table and inspires your GM. Now this may seem like a daunting task, but it's probably easier than you think. In this video, you'll learn about the importance of a character backstory and also some key strategies on how to create one. So why is it so important? Two simple reasons. One, it gives you more depth to your character and a greater understanding of the individual that you're trying to portray. This will also help you portray someone that is not like your exact personality since you start to envision them as an actual individual person. And two, it gives your GM something to grab onto to raise the stakes for you later in the game. It can be used for GMs to reward you for certain things that will help move your character closer to their goals. And it can also be used to elevate conflict in which you might have a treasured possession or person show up that will make the story more personal for you. Now, I wanted to mention something here called the knife theory. And this is something that I did not create. I will link the original post in the description below. It was something that was going around Reddit quite a few years ago. And this theory is basically when you're creating a character to include knives in their backstory. So this is anything like a named character or treasured possession that be, can be used by the GM to raise the stakes for you. And the reason why it's called a knife is basically the characters or the players will spend time carefully crafting their backstory and carefully crafting these knives only to hand it over to the game master for them to stab them in the back later sometimes repeatedly. Let's talk about order of operations. What do you choose to craft first on your character? I would always recommend choosing either the occupation, race, class, role, whatever it is in the RPG that you're playing. Choose that first, that basic information so you have a hold of what you want to play. From there, you can start crafting your backstory. Then once you have your backstory and an understanding of who that person is, you can go into the more statistical, uh, either your skills, your attributes, whatever stats you're gonna fill in, that can come at the very end once you have an understanding of the type of player you want to role play. Ooh, I wanna be an elf or a half orc or maybe just a human or ooh, halflings are so short though, that would be fun. No, no, human, I'll just be human, it's fine. So you're at the point where you're crafting your backstory and you get a little excited and start writing a bunch of different ideas down. But how much detail do you actually need? And the answer to this is to always talk to your game master. They're going to give you guidance on the type of system and the type of game that you're going to be playing. So for example, if you're playing a dungeon crawl where your characters are expected to die every session or run into a lot of trouble and it's basically just a meat grinder, they're not going to have a lot of role play opportunities, then I wouldn't spend a lot of time on your character backstory. Now, in contrast, if you have something that is a long form campaign where you have a lot of role playing opportunities, this might be a good time to flesh out that character backstory and add a lot of those knives that we talked about. Now, GMs, be very specific about the amount of information you want on a character's backstory. So if you just want three bullet points, then make sure to tell them that. And if you would rather have a more detailed fleshed out information, then tell them that too. Or if you're looking for something very specific like a named person or anything that would be something you know you're gonna use later in a campaign, make sure that all your players know that. Now, that being said, if your GM asked you for just three bullet points, but you really want to go deep into your character, go for it. I will never discourage someone who's excited about writing character backstory to really get into the type of character that they wanna play. But keep in mind that this is for you, not your game master. Give your game master exactly what they ask for because you don't want to overwhelm them with the wrong type of details or too much information that they don't want to even look at it. So give them what they ask for, but feel free to get as in-depth and great as you want with this character backstory. And finally, make sure your game master gets a physical copy of those bullet points or notes so that they don't have to remember it because believe me, they won't. Thanks for sending me your backstory notes. I got it in the mail um, because it was an actual novel. Yeah, so I just got really inspired and decided to self-publish my character's backstory. You know, it's just a light read. I'm selling it out of the back of my van now, but um, you know, don't worry, you can have it for free. I haven't technically sold any copies yet, so if you wanted to give me $15, you could. 
super interesting, but I just asked for five bullet points. I'm kind of busy creating a whole campaign over here. Let's talk about the three different levels of character creation and how much detail you should have at each of those levels. So starting with the bare bones, what is the minimum amount of information you should have in a character backstory? The answer to this is two very specific things. One is what is your motivation or your overall goal for your character? So this is something that might not be directly related to the campaign, although it could be, and it's something that might not necessarily always be at the forefront, but is what is guiding your character in their actions. What is the overall reason why they're going on this adventure, what they want to achieve with their life? All right, make sure you guys include at least one motivation or goal for your characters. Motivation, easy. Make the perfect fruitcake. Fruitcake? You're going to achieve this by traversing dungeons and slaying dragons? How else do you think I'm going to get the coveted ingredients? This is the perfect fruitcake we're talking about. It just seems like a lot of work to get some fruit. And the second thing to include is either a quirk or a flaw. And this is what makes your character unique. Now playing an average or perfect character is not very fun. It's not very fun to play with or to play. So make sure you have something a little bit different or a little bit unique about your character that you can identify and help guide your role playing. Ooh, this is pretty cool. I wonder what that right thing says. That's broken now. That's the third artifact this week. We really need to stop giving you those. As a note for the bare bones approach, you're probably going to discover things about your backstory as you play, which can be a pretty fun experience. I'd love to hear what's one of the weirdest quirks or flaws that you've given a character. Let me know down in the comments. Now the next level would be taking a more balanced approach. So you're not going all the way deep in detail, but you're also not just doing the bare minimum. For this information, I would spend a little bit more time on your childhood. So where were you born? And this can also help inform your accent or how you speak. And what was your childhood like? What are some key experiences that you had during your childhood? Finally, what got you to where you are today? And the final level of character creation will be a fully developed character. Now this is where you get into the nitty gritty details. So everything that we've talked to up until this point, you would be expanding on that and creating more. But you also might take this opportunity to maybe write journal entries from your character's perspective or do something creative to help get into the mind of your character. Okay, so you have a good understanding of what your GM is looking for and how much detail you wanna create with your character backstory. But how do you come up with this detail? And for that, I say, ask questions. Just keep asking questions. <laughs> like, where did they grow up? What was it like? Did they have best friends? Did they have any family members? What? kind of things did they experience in their life that got them to this point? What are their motivations? What are they aiming for? Just keep asking questions and maybe you'll get to a point where you have a good understanding of who this character is as an individual. And some questions you might ask to come up with those knives would be, do they have a treasured possession? Is there a secret they're hiding? Are they on the run? something that your GM can grab onto and expand in the campaign. The other thing you can do is look for inspiration in movies and books. So as an example, I'm playing in a cyberpunk campaign where I am playing a character that was inspired by the Swedes in the Umbrella Academy in season two. Now let's talk about gameplay. It's just as much on you as a player as it is on the game master to include your backstory in the actual gameplay. And it's okay to occasionally remind your game master of some of the important factors from your backstory. Keep in mind it's always more productive to be excited about your story and try and role play it within the game versus complaining to your game master if they're not incorporating something that you were hoping for. And as always, be patient. There might be a number of reasons why your GM hasn't gotten to your backstory element yet. It might be based on your level, it might be where you are in the campaign, uh, various different reasons why your GM hasn't gotten th there yet, but they most likely will. Trust me when I tell you that creating a character backstory is a ton of fun and very rewarding. It will help you feel more connected to your character and help inform how you should be role playing. 
In addition, you'll help elevate the role play experience for everyone at the table. I hope this helped give guidance for creating your next character. Creating characters is one of my favorite part of role playing games, so if you want to tell me all about your characters below, I would love that. And please make sure to subscribe if you'd like more RPG content. Thank you. Bye.